really, really bright this morning. So what we've got, um, you've seen all the rip out and everything like that. I've made a wooden template uh, because it's a bit of an unusual size. Uh, my mate's picked that up and he's made me a aluminium frame. So what I'm going to quickly do is get this primer, get it painted. It's in the sun now. Hopefully that'll bake off and I need to try and find a piece of wood that's going to go full width across the bed that I can then velt trim, which will give a nice platform. From there I've got a piece of foam for uh, the mattress. Later on I'm going to have to get that covered but I'm sure we can put a sheet around it for now and then we're going to also do the electric. So yeah, let's have a look. So what we're doing now, um, basically I've left this panel in here is where the lights used to be for the old ambulance sign which makes a nice little shelf so she can put little things in but as well as that there's a piece at the bottom that I can get up where it's got the cable that comes through so the all the lighting and everything in this top cupboard above the kitchen it was supplied and ran through the cupboard that I've took out so I've cut that cable off I've rerouted it down into there I'm going to connect it to um, like a, some Wagos. If you've seen Wagos, little crimp connectors for lighting and things, well enough for uh, uh, this kind of ampage. That's then going to supply. Uh, he's then going to go from there back to this original switch panel that you can see off here. Um, so then that's not broken the circuit at all. But what that does let me do is tap in at that point, so I can have a little USB charging point and a little LED light. None of it's great ampage, it's all fused okay and everything like that, so yeah, steady. So some people some people use singles, um, some people will use flexors, some people think they can use housing wire. The biggest difference I'd say is um, AC and DC are different in a way where it actually, the ampage of one doesn't equate to the ampage of another, it is different. So for automotive, I tend to use multi-strand flex uh, because it, travels a lot lot better uh, in houses with ac you'll find a solid core works better with ac whereas with dc anyone that was into the car sound systems back in the day or still is now you'll remember the big thick red uh, power lead and when you chopped that it was really really fine really really small pieces of copper uh, that's not so it bends easy or anything it's just it pushes the dc voltage because it's only a small small voltage high ampage it pushes it without the voltage drop that's that's the science behind it anyway. I'll stop waffling because I'm going on now. So all I'm doing, I'm just going to put this little flex, put some connectors on it, connect it up to the back of the 12 volt output. And then what I'm going to do is I'll push that into the hole that I've just drilled just over here. Uh, once that's in, I can have this just poking out. And then once I've got the connector on, it all comes together, all gets zipped up done then if i need to put anything else up in this cupboard provided it doesn't bump the ampage up too much for the fuse i can just then i've got power above in that cab section there that i can go to so it's, it's kind of future proofing in it get a lot of that with my job because you know when you're doing something the customer's going to take one look at it and go i like that i want another one over there um <laughs> nine times out of ten they do so you just run the cable anyway so I'm just using the little connectors. Push down. One thing I would, if, you, if you're doing any kind of work, any kind of building, uh, vehicles, anything, just invest in some ratchet crimpers. I know you can do it with other things, but it's, it's for what they are now, you can get them for like 15 quid or something for a decent set and you want a better set rather than a cheapo set. It's well worth doing and it'll make your life so much quicker and easier over time. And you might only use it for a, a couple of crimps on that job, but over the space of the vehicle build, you'll use it dozens and dozens of times. And the difference is it gives you that nice crimped on, nice tight, definitely won't focus on connection. Um, and it's the loose connections and stuff that cause vehicle fires. It's the arcing. So if you can eliminate any arcing whatsoever, you bob on. So again, where are we? Positive, negative. So positive, negative. So that's on the back of there. We'll just feed this in. Uh, where's that nut? There is a nut on here somewhere. Everything's moved. There we go. So we've got a little ring nut. What I do, I buy a lot of the, you know, the cheap 
switch panels where you'll get a volt gauge, a USB socket, a 12 volt socket uh, and a switch on a little panel. It works out far far better to buy two or three of them and strip out what you need uh, than buying one thing at a time with postage and what have you. So, let's poke that through there. Send the nut down it. Nice and tight with the carpet, so the carpet's just folding in as well. Right. Happy days. So, right, so that's the charging point there. I'm going to put some flexi copex around these. A lot of these cables are redundant, but I'm not removing them just yet, uh, purely because they run down here into my switch panel. So what I'll probably do is put some nice copex up there and put a junction box there. So then from there, anything can be run out on some of the copex up to the roof rack or through the rear of the vehicle. Uh, and again. If the cables are already run, keep them in and hide them if you can. If you've got a nice pretty little vehicle, you're not gonna get away with it, but this is just a dirty old bus, so yeah. Uh, with this bell trim, that's gonna be cut off flush, another section on there, and I've got a bit up here, but I can get that off with the wire brush. That's not an issue. So yeah, some dressing up to do. Um, we'll just get this, uh, this powered up now. Right, so for those wondering what a Wago is, this is actually a Wago, this one, and these are like a knockoff version of it. So what I'm doing, the green one here isn't actually an earth, this is for the green lights, the um, just background lights that I've got, you know, just put them on rather than having a big white light. Uh, that goes through to there, and what you do is you just push the cable in and then pull the lever and it locks it down. So it's a lot, lot quicker than a connector block. You know where you're screwing it in, screwing it out. And uh, then what I've done, because that's only going to be a straight through, I only need the two. And then what I do, uh, because there might be something in the future that goes up to this, obviously we've got a, a negative there, and we've got a positive there, and it's a, a multi-outlet one. So instead of trying to jam cables into the same one, what we can then do is use this as almost like a, um, a din rail type thing but just remember it's got to be low ampage because you can't take the mickey because what a lot of people fail on is they'll say right that cable's big enough to power a socket then they put something else on and something else on and something else on and although the cables coming out of those items are correctly rated it all has to come through the first bit and it all has to come through the piece of metal that's in here so just bear in mind what's going to come off it so for like this one there's only going to ever be one phone or tablet on charge um then a couple of led lights so next to nothing for what this cable will actually do so steady away for that so this will go up into that little cupboard and we'll just connect the uh, USB charging point into here, pos and neg. Uh, obviously this is fuse and switch back at the panel and then we'll connect that straight through to the switch that does them mood lights, whatever you want to call them. And then eventually we'll do another switch off this pos and neg that'll then go to a little nightlight for her because she likes to have a nightlight on. So what I've done is I've rewired everything, got the charging point in, rewired the switch panel, put that all back together and moved a few cables. Then what I've done is I've given this a coat of primer, then I've given it a coat of uh, just black rattle can. Nothing fancy. Uh, I've then got the piece of wood, I've vel trimmed it and then screwed it in from the back. So the vel trim is now the ceiling of the cab. Got the contrasting nice black aluminium. I could have vel trimmed this as well but I kind of like the look of it. Uh, what I'm also going to do is on the dashboard, um, I used to have overhead red lights. I'm going to do the same again eventually, where I run the cable through the inside of this box section and just have the little LEDs just popping out, which will give me the nice glow, because you know it's like an Land Rover, you can't see the switch panels overly well, so the little glow from behind you just lights all your panels up nicely. As well as that, when you're driving down country lanes late o'clock at night, uh, it also takes that pressure off of your eyes, you know, with the bright cars coming towards you, then back into the darkness and what have you so yeah let's manhandle this back in right so here we go here's the finished well not finished but here's close to finished item so you can now see the black aluminium and carpet and the contrast between the two the black aluminium matches the seats the gray carpet matches everything that's in the rear uh, we've got the pivot points at the front 
uh, at the rear, I might as well just put some gas struts here just to assist in lifting it up because once the mattress is on, all the bedding's on, I chuck all my bedding on it as well. There's, there's actually quite a bit to lift and we just need to paint this bar here black and also weld the bulkhead struts on. So let's go up top. Hard to see up top, not as impressive because it's not trimmed yet. We've got the cushion that's just down here for your head. Then we've got a mattress to go on top of here. Here's the top of that piece of wood mattress will go on here's the two grab handles so there's a bit of a gap here here and here so what you can do is you can get your hand in and lift again I might put some gas struts on either side I don't think I'll need them and as we come lower down again we're gonna box from there box that off from there up box that off have a little bit of a window where I can slide a panel in if I'm transporting the vehicle and I don't want anybody crawling through into the rear uh, as well as that you know what it's like when you go to country parks things like that get anything of value out of the cab lock it in the rear dead lock it worst case there's what a head unit which the ten a penny these days so that's the plan with it let's get the mattress in place Okay, I've got a nice mattress there now. Um, before I forget as well, just want to say a big thank you to everybody that came on the last video, uh, liked, commented, watched it through, the people that have put my videos on the playlists and watched them through, things like that. If you've noticed, it seems like a little bit of a punishment's almost towards the end. The numbers are starting to go back up again, so much appreciated for that. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll turn this switch on here. I don't know if you can see this because it's dark, but in here we've got a little USB charging point as well the next job um, I need to get some more aluminium trim and on the back of this wall here I'm gonna put um, she's got one of them little color changing long LED strips so I want to put that on there so it makes the whole thing glow up she's got the remote up there she can have it dumb dumb dull as a um, nightlight or she can have the thing pulsing whatever she wants she just has a fun she's got a space up there so right let's uh, Put a bit of a sheet over here. Wow, it's warm today. I think it's the last uh, hot day before we get some rain and stuff. But thank you once again for watching. Um, check out some previous videos. Again, if you can uh, like, comment, subscribe. It lets YouTube know that it's a good channel to show to other people. Uh, I'm much appreciated. See you on the next one. Thanks for coming along.